Are you enabled to import your MKV file to Premiere Pro like this? If so, there is a good reason for that, and that's because Premiere Pro does not support this file format. And in this video, I will show you how to fix it. Before getting to the main solution in this video, I will show you a quick fix that some people have had success doing. In Windows, you first want to go to View, Show, and show the file name extension. In Mac, the principle is the same. Then we're going to rename the file like so, and we're just going to change the MKV part to MTS, hit enter, confirm, and now you can try to import the file. If that doesn't work, just change it back to MKV like this, and we will get to the main solution. Now we're going to do a simple rewrap of the file. I'm going to use the shutter encoder, which is free, and I will leave a link in the description of the video. So now just drag the file into the shutter encoder like this. Then under choose function, open this menu, click on rewrap here, and then just click on OK. Now next to rewrap, we want to change this menu here to MP4, which is supported in Premiere Pro. Now click on start function. Once it's done, you will by default find it in the same folder as the original file. And now you can try to import it to Premiere Pro like this, and you can see it works. If that didn't work, you may have a corrupt file or the codec is not supported as well. And in that case, we will have to transcode the whole file. So just drag it into the shutter encoder. And now under choose function, we're going to choose the Apple ProRes, or if you want a smaller file size, you could choose the H264, but I'm going to go with the Apple ProRes, and then I'm going to set it to LT. Now click on start function. Now I can almost guarantee that you can import the file to Premiere Pro. If you have been recording using this OBS screen recorder here, there is an easier way you can do this without the shutter encoder. So go ahead and click on File, and now you can click on Remux Recordings. Click on these three dots and go to the folder with the MKV files, mine are here. And now just select the files that you're enabled to import, click Open and then click on Remux, and then confirm. Once it's done, you can see we have two MP4 versions of the MKV files as well, and we can go ahead and import them like this. And to avoid using the Remux function every time you're going to record, simply go ahead and click on File, Settings, Output, and then under Recording, you can change the format to MP4, and then you will avoid having to Remux. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and thanks for watching.